All right, hey, honors chemistry. This is the video answer key to worksheet number five on molecular compounds. At the top here, I said C slides. Um, there are properties and basic structural units that we recorded together. And you could look at my slides that you have access to to get this information. Basically, molecular compounds have very low or weak properties, like they have low boiling point, low melting point, weak intermolecular attractions. The basic structural unit is the molecule. So something that's like just a bunch of them kind of floating around. Okay, and we'll see more of that um, in the future of this unit. I am going to go through the answer key for first naming the compounds from the formula and then writing the formula from the names. A lot of us have picked up that um, the molecular nomenclature is not as stressful as ionic. There's like a lot less to manage. So let's look at the first one. We have CBR, one carbon, four bromines. This is carbon tetrabromide, tetra meaning four, right? So there's Greek prefixes that we add to the mix now when naming and writing formulas for molecular compounds. And how do I know that I have molecular? Two non-metals. If I had three, probably polyatomic ion present, or I have to tell you, um, four, probably polyatomic ion present, okay? But if I have two, molecular. Next one, I have N2, P3. This is going to be dinitrogen, triphosphide. PCL3 is going to be phosphorus, trichloride. Notice how we don't put the mono on the first element if there's one of them. You don't have to do that. Mono is for the second element. So look at letter D. D is going to be iodine monochloride. I can't just say iodine chloride because I could have 50 things that are iodine chloride. Don't know that. So iodine means one. Monochloride means one chlorine. N2O, dinitrogen monoxide. I need to put the mono on the second element in the compound. And don't look, oh, I still have ide. For molecular compounds, still ends in IDE. SIF4 is silicon tetrafluoride. GEH4, germanium tetrahydride. N2Br4, dinitrogen, tetrabromide. And a lot of these we could just rifle through. And notice how I'm not looking for ions. There's no Roman numerals. There's no polyatomic ion names. I'm not doing anything with charge. These two nonmetals have no charges. So I'm not trying to balance a charge. I'm not looking at the charges on the periodic table. I'm just using what I got in front of me. All right, moving on. I have P2S5, diphosphorus, pentasulfide. Next one, SeO2, selenium dioxide. NH3, nitrogen trihydride, also known as ammonia, but that's the fancier name. And then finally, SiO2, silicon dioxide. Okay. All right. And um, selenium and silicon show up kind of in group four, and it looks like they might be metalloids, but we use them with our uh, molecular nomenclature. All right. Now, if that wasn't too bad, it's even more uh, simplistic to write the formulas from the names. Uh, I find students are more successful with part two over here. So it says phosphorus triiodide. That's one phosphorus, three iodide, P-I-3, done. Silicon tetrachloride, S-I-C-L-4. I think the hardest task is knowing your element symbols, which a lot of us struggle with. So I know them, but if you don't, you can just look on the periodic table, find the elements, good to go. All right, continuing on, I have dinitrogen pentoxide, 
N2O5. Dinitrogen tetroxide, N2O4. And then don't worry that it's not simplified. It's molecular. Doesn't need to be simplified. Molecular compounds don't need to be simplified. Ionic compounds do. Carbon monoxide, CO. Carbon dioxide, CO2. Sulfur hexafluoride, one sulfur. Hexa is six fluorides, SF6. Dinitrogen, which means two. Tetrachloride, Cl4, four chlorides. Carbon tetraiodide, C. I four phosphorus pentafluoride P F five and then finally diphosphorus pentoxide P two O five. All right, so this is the video answer key for naming and writing formulas for molecular compounds. A lot quicker than ionic formula. Make sure you're able to distinguish that I have molecular compounds here because I have two nonmetals. If I had three nonmetals or a metal or a polyatomic ion, those are ionic compounds.